Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is James. Today I'll talk about a topic that doesn't get brought up a lot. The Microsoft Agent Ring Believe it or not, the Microsoft Agent software had a considerable community from the late 90s to the mid-2000s. Many small companies saw potential in this software and they took advantage of it. Some such as Lachanto and Eclipse had their success and most of them were part of the Microsoft Agent Ring, a big collection of different agent-related websites. One of the companies that was part of this ring is the main subject of this video. Agent Task Force this British company from London was founded in the year 2000 and lasted until 2003. Their specialty was making Microsoft Agent characters. According to their now defunct website, they have seven in total, eight if you count the imp. The gimmick of these characters was that they were dedicated to specific topics such as video games, movies or the weather. The company also made Web Scrapbook, a program that is able to design websites. It seems that Agent Task Force had connections to another software company known as WebPresent, which was also British. Unfortunately, they started to run through some financial issues in 2002 and they eventually dissolved one year later. It should be noted that they didn't go completely unnoticed. Their characters have been featured in the Agent Free, Agent London, even the Microsoft Agent Rings download gallery, meaning that they at least were a little bit known. As of December 2022, only three characters seem to have survived the company's demise. Otu, the game's agent, Flix the movie agent and Helios the weather agent. I guess you could also count the imp if you are a psychopath. There are four characters that are still lost and nowhere to be found. Victor the sports agent, Max the trader agent, Sadie the news agent and Trolley the shopping agent. Now you might be wondering. How did they get lost? Well, you could pass it off as just negligence when it came to archiving, but here's the thing, their download system sucked. Take notes, to download their characters you had to put your email address so that they would send you a password that allows you to get the characters. Although alternatively you could also purchase them for the cheap price of £9 with 75 cents. What a deal. Psst. It might seem stupid, but it's still better than paying almost $30 for three reskins of the same character. Now, in the last few months we've tried to contact the former employee of the company to see if he still has them, and guess what? He said no, meaning that we are currently in a dead end since we don't really have any better lead. However, not all hope is lost. If a character like Max the Parrot was able to be found, I'm sure that we'll find these old gems someday. So keep searching. If you can help with this investigation, please tell us in the comments below. I guess we're good for now. I've been James, your humble host, and until next time, I'm out.